Hello, welcome to our artichoke patch. So the video you're about to see actually takes place over a few different days and different harvests. So what I wanted to do is show you how I go through the entire process of harvesting artichokes in a season. Today, we're actually about to harvest the last bit of our artichokes. So after this harvest, we're actually going to leave the remaining heads and let them flower because I think that's really important for the bees. So this will be our last harvest, but I want to take you all the way back to the beginning and show you how this all started. Hi, I'm Randy the Freckled Californian, and today we're gonna do something very exciting. We're gonna harvest the first artichoke of 2023. This is amazing for many reasons, one of them being obviously that artichokes are delicious, and growing your own gives you so many different advantages. For example, you can pick them at the stage that you like to eat them. Sometimes you want a larger artichoke, depending on how you're gonna cook it. Other times, you want smaller artichokes. The important thing is you wanna pick them when they're tender and before they grow too large. So we're gonna pick this one here. And also when you pick them, when you pick the first main head, it actually encourages the plant to produce these little side artichokes. And those are also delicious. If you let that main head go to flower, it kind of signals the plant to go to seed. What I like to do is as soon as the first artichoke is ready for harvesting, you can take that top one off and all these little side artichokes end up coming out. Look at that. You can see it's actually starting to separate slightly and that's not what we want, but it's still tender looking. So we're not past the stage where it's gonna be woody and inedible. Um, so, and with artichokes, a lot of times you just have to get used to looking at them and seeing and judging their, um, like if they're gonna be tender or not. Look at that. That would be a perfect little baby artichoke. You could even pick it at that stage. Um, but we're gonna harvest just the main head today. And that way, once the main head is harvested, all these little side babies are gonna pop up. All right, before we go in for a closer look at the side artichokes, I did wanna show you. See how the leaves are starting to separate? That's actually, that's actually not what we want. We want the artichoke to be really tight. Now this one, I happen to know, because I've had this variety for many years, it's still gonna be fine and tender at this stage. So I'm gonna be able to eat this one. It's not gonna be very fibrous. Um, but ideally you want it to eat the artichokes when they're super tight. So this one is starting to separate. You probably want them like that. Um, but it's not too separate. Also wear gloves. Artichokes have thorns. I don't know if you can see the thorns on here. It's not fun. Always wear gloves. Okay, so we're gonna harvest more artichokes in this patch. Like I said, there's quite a few nice little ones and there's little side ones forming. So if I remove the main head, the little side ones can continue to grow and the energy is gonna go there. So this one, Ooh. oh, look at that, beautiful. The one here, that one is behind all the others. Sorry, this is a pretty jam-packed patch. Oh. There's definitely one here. I might want to wait a little, because leaves are starting to separate. We're going to get this one too. Ooh, did I get the one? No, okay, good. Ooh. Okay, look at these. Delicious, these are going to make wonderful tender additions to pasta, salad. All right, my friends. So I have three, well, there's actually four artichoke plants here. One of them, I'm not going to chop the middle head because it's not ready yet. But look, three artichokes. So we can make this, we can add them to pasta, we can do salads, we could grill them. Um, but the main important thing is cutting these first ones. It's gonna let the plant divert energy into even more artichokes this season. We don't want it to stop producing yet. It's far too early. So look at those. But this is, we're back at the artichoke patch and there's more that are ready to harvest. So we're going to harvest these. Oh wow, look, it's one, two, three. So there's a big one and then little ones on the side. And remember, we just harvested the big one here. So that's how prolific artichokes can be. Also, the knife is not my favorite implement for harvesting these, but it's what I've got right now. So, ooh, look at that. You have to be really careful not to accidentally cut through the other artichoke stock. Ah, did I get him? No. Yeah, this is not going as gracefully as I anticipated. I feel like I should get clippers. So we've got two more on this plant. And I think that's all we're gonna harvest tonight because I don't wanna harvest, ooh, oh, look, everyone has two little side ones too. Beautiful. And 
this guy on this side. All right, so we are gonna start, and I am gonna leave some. So these little babies here, there's no more side artichokes forming really. So this plant has been harvested. I'm gonna leave that to flower. Um, but I will harvest all these little side ones here and leave some. I should be wearing gloves. I should be wearing gloves. Uh, and leave these little guys to go to flower. I'm definitely going to get this guy. That one. Ooh, the one in the back. Can't get another one. This is hard because I only have two small hands. Oh, look at all these. Oh my gosh. All right, taking this guy. Wow, look at that one. I might leave that one to flower because he's getting a little separated anyway. Okay, and back here, I think I'm only gonna do this one. We'll just take his whole stem. We're leaving that to flower. And what about this one? We'll take this one too. Look at that. Okay, so now, ooh, ow, I just got hit in the head with a banana. Okay, now this is how I'm gonna leave the pack. So this is another variety of artichoke. This one's a Romanesco artichoke. It's new to the garden this year. I also have improved globe, but most of those are in the front yard, but I love the color on these. Thank you for joining me in the artichoke patch today. If you're curious how I like to cook artichokes, I'll leave a link below to my favorite grilled artichokes recipe and how we prepare them. Thanks for watching.